Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon, all my dear children. Today, uh, we, are, uh, this, we have come to our activity. Today is our Ramzan activity demo, demo two, right? I welcome you all to our Ramzan activity. Our topic, uh, our topic is months of Islam. What are the months of Islam? There are 12 months of Islam, right? And the Islamic calendar is known as Hijri calendar, okay? Because it is based on the Hijrat of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What are the 12 months of Islam? They are Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal, Rabiul, Rabiul Thani, Jumad al Ula, Jumad al Ukhra, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Zulqada, and Zulhijjah. These are the 12 Islamic months. Let's see what do all these uh, months. considered one of the sacred months, Islamic months. Uh, the Muharram, it means forbidden, where all the unlawful acts are forbidden in this month. Killing, uh, fighting, everything is forbidden for the Muslims, for everyone. And uh, even before uh, the Islam, the, this, um, this month was considered sacred. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, the best days to fast after Ramadan are in the month of Muharram. Next is Safar. Safar means whistling of the wind. It is named so because the Arabs used to, in this month, the Arabs used to leave their homes and they used to set out to fight their enemies or just to escape the summer heat. Next, we have Rabiul Awal. What is Rabiul Awal? It is Rabia means spring. As it denotes, it is it coincides with the spring season. So it is the first spring season, first month of spring. Next is Rabiustani. This is the second month of the spring. Next we have. dry droughts were there so that is why it is known as jumad al ula the first month of droughts next is jumad al ukhra this is the last month of the parch land droughts next we have rajab rajab means respect honor this is also one of the sacred months of islam where killing fighting all the unlawful acts are prohibited in Rajab, in the month of Rajab. It is also one of the sacred months of Islam. Now next is Shaban. Shaban means scattered. Scattered. What does it mean? All the Arabs during this month, they are scattered. They go in search for water. Yes, we have already seen, right? The Arabs disperse in search of water in this month. Next is Ramadan. Ramadan this in this month it is the month of heat yes in this month burning heat uh, it has multiple meanings you can say ramazan uh, arabic is a language in which words have different meanings so ramazan also means burning yes where all our sins are burned yes our sins are forgiven and uh, how is the climate? Climate, uh, climate is also very hot. It's, there is extreme heat. And what do people do? Uh, what do the Muslims do in the month of Ramadan? They fast. Yes, Ramadan is the month of fasting. And, and uh, Ramadan is also 
uh, a month wherein we have a uh, showerings of the rain okay we have uh, uh, it's also a blessed month where uh, it is a venerated month of the hijri calendar next is shawal shawal means raised shawal is a month in which it comes after the 30 days of ramazan it comes after ramazan yes and uh, it uh, on the first day of shawal the muslims celebrate eid al fitr and uh, uh, and muslims also have to fast the six days of shawal if they fast uh, the 30 days of ramazan along with the six days of shawal then it will be considered as if they have fasted for a whole year if they fast along with the six days of shawal sorry for the interruption yes uh, so we were talking about uh, shawal right so if the muslims fast 30 days of ramzan and along with those 30 days if they fast 6 days of shawal it will be considered as if they have fasted for a whole year now next is zulqada zulqada is the month of sitting it uh, it means to sit khada means to sit in this month all the uh, arabs what do they do they would stop all their businesses they would wind off all their things and then they would prepare for hajj what is hajj it's pilgrimage to makka next is zulhijjah the last month of uh, islamic calendar is zulhijjah zulhijjah is the month in which all the muslims uh, in which the it is the month of hajj all the muslims go to makka for doing hajj now this is uh, this is it uh the brief description uh, the description about the islamic months now i would like to call upon uh, labiba ambar our first contestant of class 6th standard to uh, do her presentation on the uh, months of islam yes Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Labiba Amba. Today I'm going to tell about the Islamic months. The Islamic calendar is also known as the Hijri calendar. The Hijri calendar consists of 12 Islamic months. The first which are Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awwal, Rabiul Thani. These are the months of Islam. Jamaat al Ula, Jamaat al Ukhra, Rajab and Shaban, Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan and Shawwal, Dhul Khoda and Dhul Hijja. These are the months in Islam. The first month of Islamic calendar is. Muharram, which marks the beginning of our Islamic New Year. The second one is Safar. Then comes Rabiul Awwal and Rabiul Thani. The fourth, the fifth month is Jamaat Al Ula. Then comes Jamaat Al Ukhra. Then comes Rajab and Shaban. The ninth month of Islam is Ramadan. In this holy month, in this holy month, the Muslims fast. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam. And did you know that also the Quran was revealed in this month? The tenth month of Islam is Shawwal. Then comes Dhul Hada. The last month of Islam is Dhul Hijja. There are four Islamic months which are very important, and all the haram things can't be done in these four months. The first month is Muharram, then is Rajab and Dhul Khada and Dhul Hijja. Jazakallah. Did I?
Yes, just a minute. Uh, well then, Barakallah uh, Rabiba for this wonderful presentation. Now we have uh, Abdul Rahman. He is going to say the poem "Months of Islam." Come on, Abdul Rahman, are you ready? Jumadat ula jumadat akman rakcap en shabat hamadan 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 en shawat Allah Allah hijjah these are the months of Islam. Barakallah, mashallah, very good. Last, say it with me. Zulqada, Zulqada, and Zulhijja. Say it with me. Yeah. Zulkhada and Zulhijja. These are the ones in Islam. Very good, mashallah. Well done. Start again, Abdurrahman. Wait for some time and start. Yes. Okay? Say Bismillah and then start. Bismillah. Ramada Kamahi, Namubarakaha, Reda Akamahi, Namubarakaha, Panda Kofuna, Kikara for Sefo, Pesa Kamahi, Namubarakaha. Rest. Rest. Okay, okay. Okay, now we have come to the end. Um, yes, now I'll be asking uh, some questions. Is everyone ready for the quiz? Yes, my dear children. Yes. Where were their voices just now? Yes. I'm also fasting, right? You need to respond, right? I'm spe not speaking to the walls, right? You need to respond. No, I have not learned. Yes, I have learned. Okay. Now, I'll be asking you questions. Okay? Uh, yes. So, let's start now. Which is the first month of Islam? Mahara. Is Mahara. Excellent. Yes. No, uh, yes. No group answers. No fish market. Raise your hand, okay? Whoever wants to say the answer, uh, raise your hand like this, okay? Raise your hand. Whoever wants to say the answer, okay? Now, next question. Whoever raise her hand first, I'll ask. Okay, put down your hands first. Raise, uh, lower your hand. Yes. When I ask you the question, then you have to raise your hand. Then I'll ask some, okay? Who, uh, who, the people, yes. Which is the last month of Islam? Okay, Labiba, tell me the answer. Which is the last month of Islam? Zulhijjah. Excellent. Okay, now put down, uh, lower your hands. Lower your hands. What are the, what, listen carefully, Bata. What are the four sacred months of Islam? Hurmat wale char mahine Islam ke kaun se hai? Four sacred months of Islam. What are they? Okay, only Labiba knows the answer. Others? Hurmat wale mahine nahi pata za. Others? Do you know what are the four sacred months of Islam? Okay, yes, Labiba. Answer? Give me the answer. The first one is Muharram, Rajab, Dulkhada, and Dulhijjah. Excellent, mashallah. Barakallah. Yes. Now, next question. Which is the first month of spring? Raise your hands, everyone. Which is the first month of spring? I want a new person. Okay, Uzma, what's the first month of spring? Uzma? Okay, Azha has raised her hand. Azha, which is the first month of spring? Yes, come on. Give me the answer, please. 
which is the first month of spring okay no 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 that is muharram is not the first month of spring okay rehan zoya which is the first uh, month of spring beta rabiul awwal rabiul awwal excellent mashallah barakallah yes which is the second now lower your hands which is the second month of spring rabiul mali rabiul excellent mashallah yes now next question for you is what is the first month of droughts first month of dry nights jamaat ul kula jamaat ul kula Okay. Yes. Which is the last month of dry land? Jumaat al Fitra. Jumaat al Fitra. Well done. Well done. Mashallah. Jumaat al Fitra is the yes last month. Okay. Ula ka matlab pehla hota hai. First hota hai. Fitra ka matlab last hota hai. Yes. Yes. In which month? Does Eid al Fitr is celebrated? In which month is Eid al Fitr celebrated? Shaban. 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 Can you tell me the date on which Shawal? Shawal ki kaun se din Eid al Fitr manai jati hai? Which day? First. Excellent. Okay. Yes. First. Yes. फर्स्ट शवाल को ईद उल फित्र मनाई जाती है एक्सिलेंट इन विच मंथ इज ईद उल अजहा सेलिब्रेटेड एक्सिलेंट ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन हज इज परफॉर्म इन विच मंथ एक्सिलेंट Now I'll be sharing the screen. Just wait, sir. Yes, all of you, mute your mic. Now we are going to see how Hajj is performed. Okay, in simple steps. Yes, please lower your hands, all of you. Lower your hands and mute your mic. Mute your mics, all of you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Now let's see in simple steps how is Hajj perform. Hajj is what is Hajj? Hajj is heading to a place for the sake of visiting. Okay, Hajj is pilgrimage to Mecca, where Muslims go to the Mecca. Yes, to perform Hajj. Okay. Now let's see the steps. Okay, which month Hajj is perform? Zulhijjah. Can you see over here? Okay. In the last month. Okay. I, yes. In the last Islamic month, Zulhijjah had just performed. Yes. Can you see on uh, for tenth uh, of Zulhijjah, what is celebrated? Eid al Adha. Now let's see how is Hajj performed. Before seeing that, uh, how many days duration is for Hajj? Five, five to six days. Okay, five to six five days. days yes, when it is done, yeah. it is done from eight or uh, eight to eight to eight of Zilhaja till thirteenth of Zilhaja. Okay, from eighteen Zilhaja till thirteen Zilhaja, Hajj is performed. Okay, Hajj ke arkan pure karne hote. All the things related to stages, steps related to Hajj are performed. Okay, so what are the steps? Yes, please kindly mute your uh, mic, beta. Mic, ban kijiye. Yes. So, what are the steps of Hajj? The first one is ihram. Okay. What is ihram? You're wearing the correct clothes. Okay. Uh, before, before ihram, what should be the first thing for Hajj? For anything, for a prayer, also namaz, anything. What is the first thing that is needed? Niyat. Yes. Yes, the ni niyat is uh, the most important thing. Okay, first, 
हमें नियत करनी होती है कि हम हज कर रहे हैं यस yes, अगर हम नमाज पढ़ रहे हैं उसके लिए भी नियत होती है राइट right? हम नियत कर रहे हैं वी uh, नियत uh, करने के लिए जबान से बोलना जरूरी नहीं होता वी नीड नॉट से इट विथ आर माउथ ओके इट कैन बी इन आर हार्ट ऑल्सो ओके नियत इज इट कैन बी इन आर हार्ट इफ आई से आई एम इन आर इन माई हार्ट इफ आई गेस मेक द नियत that i am going to do hajj then we can start with the hajj yes now next uh, the first thing is ihram yes wearing the correct clothes so what is the clothing for men they have to wear white color clothes yes and for women they have to wear fully fully covered clothes so first step for hajj is ihram okay wearing the correct clothes okay yes now next is tawaf what is tawaf tawaf means praying and circling the kaaba seven times what do the muslims do pilgrims okay hajiyon ko kya kehte hain english mein pilgrims kahenge okay so what do the muslim pilgrims do who are performing hajj they circle the kaaba seven times that is known as tawaf okay now next step is safa and marwa okay so safa and marwa let me tell you safa and marwa were earlier they were big mountains okay pahar the wo big mountains now these are these are two small hills safa and marwa yes so what do the muslims have to do they have to walk between safa and marwa can you see over here seven seven times okay so they have to walk between these two hills safa and marwa seven times yes and uh, do you know the safa marwa story yes yes what happened at safa and marwa uh, allah subhanahu wa taala liked uh, what hazrat uh, hajira alay salam yes what did she do when little ibrahim uh, sorry ismail alay salam uh, was with her what did she do she left him in search of water there was no food no water yes when ibrahim alay salam left them in uh, makkah yes a place where the uh, earlier there was no nothing okay it was a uh, uh, plain land yes nothing was there so uh prophet ibrahim alaihi salam with the command of allah left hajra alaihi salam and ismail alaihi salam in that place yes and he also prayed for them so what happened after all the supplies were finished what did hajra alaihi salam do she she was a mother right yes what are what is the tendency of mothers they uh, they can starve themselves but they can't starve their kids yes wo khud bhooki reh jayengi maayein but apne bachchon ko khilati hai right so little ibrahim alay salam was there with her so she had to feed him yes so she went in search of water and food from safa to marwa seven times yes she was running from here and there seven times on these mountains safa and marwa in search of food and water okay she was going and then she was coming back she was thinking uh, what if some danger may uh, happen to ibrahim alay salam then she was coming back and seeing him then she was again going in search of water allah subhanahu wa taala then like this yes act of hajra alay salam hazrat hajra alay salam and then what happened zamzam water yes with the command of allah what happened zamzam came yes from the yes from the sand from the underground yes zamzam was started the water started uh, coming out yes so that is known as zamzam yes then she quenched her uh, it's like uh, yes thirst of uh, her child and herself so that's the story of safa and marwa yes so what do the muslims do allah subhanahu wa taala liked that act of hajra alay salam so that is made compulsory in the hajj yes so allah taala ko wo hajra alay salam ka wo jazba bahut pasand aaya isliye hajj mein wo compulsory kiya gaya hai hajj mein wo ek step hai okay yes safa aur marwa 
पर हमें जाना होता है मुस्लिम को सेवन टाइम्स सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस देन द मुस्लिम पिलग्रिम्स गो टू मीना ओके मीना वॉट इज मीना a place okay yes uh, the muslim pilgrims they go to mina yes and then can you see over here they stay in tents okay yes now next uh, you can ask your questions later please uh, lower your hands yes now after going to minha sorry mina mina okay so after uh, doing this stage Uh, the muslims go to mina a place called mina and then they stay in tents can you see these tents yes now next is arafa okay after that the pilgrim do go to arafa okay and they ask for forgiveness of allah they seek forgiveness of allah now next is muzdalifa okay can you see over here muzdalifa they spend the night at muzdalifa okay so all the pilgrims haji jo hote hain muzdalifa par raat guzarte hain okay they spend the night at muzdalifa now next is jamra okay what is jamra jamra means can you see this these are the three large walls okay so jamra these three large walls uh, are known as jamra okay so they represent what shaitan okay so ye teen jo walls hai jamra ke ye shaitan ko represent karte hain so what do the pilgrims do they throw stones on jamra each jamra okay ye jamra pe patthar phekte hain muslims okay so why are they throwing stones on jamra they, it is a sign that they are rejecting shaitan because what did shaitan do he did not listen to uh, the command of allah yes he did not uh, bow to uh, adam alayhis salam when allah subhanahu wa taala told him he didn't listen yes so yes so uh, all the what do the pilgrims do they throw stones on jamra each jamra okay three uh, walls are there now next is sacrifice okay what do the next step muslims do they sacrifice the animal okay and celebrate eid ul adha why do they sacrifice animal to please allah yes to please allah and to honor who to honor the sacrifice of ibrahim alayhis salam yes he was ready to sacrifice ismail alayhis salam his son uh, for the sake of allah now next is the final tawaf okay so this is the last stage where the pilgrims go back to makka okay and do the final tawaf what is tawaf circling the Ka kaaba seven times so this calls for the completion of hajj yes so have everyone understood how is hajj performed yes ma'am yes. yes so what do the now you can say along with me what is the first step ihram Say it with me. Ihram. Okay, wearing the clothes. Yes. Ihram. Okay. Yes. Yes. They have to wear the clothing. Yes. Now, what do the Muslim men wear? White color clothes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And yes. And the Muslims women, they wear full covered. Okay, fully covered. Yes. Hijab, abaya. Yes, fully covered clothes. Now, next is tawaf. Tawaf. All of you say it with me. Next stage is tawaf. What is tawaf? Circling the Kaaba, praying. Yes, praying and circling the Kaaba. How many times? Seven times. Seven times. Yes. Now let's see the next one. What do they do after Kaaba? Uh, yes, after uh, doing tawaf, what do they do? Near Kaaba. Yes, they Sarva are two hills, Safa and Marwa. So the Muslims okay. walk between Safa and Marwa. How many times? Seven times. Seven times. Seven, Seven times. times. Excellent. Yes. So yes. So Safa or Mahar Marwa Pahari par. Yes, they have to walk seven oh times. No. Now next, where do they head to from Safa and Marwa? Kaha jayenge? Which place? Mina. 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 Okay, M I N A. Mina. Okay, place का नाम है. Okay. So after uh, doing this, Safa and Marwa walking between Safa and Marwa, they go to Mina and they stay in 
टेंट्स ओके दिस स्टे ओवर देर पिलग्रिम्स ओके हाजी जो होते हैं नेक्स्ट दे गो टू अरफा दे गो टू अरफा वॉट डू दे डू इन अरफा कैन यू सी देंड्स ओवर हियर Yes, and what do we ask? We seek forgiveness from Allah. Okay. Yes. Yes. So they, they go to Arafah and seek forgiveness. Now, next, where do they spend the night? Which place? Mus 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 Dalifa. Bolie Mus Dalifa. Mus Dalifa. Yes. So they uh, spend the night. Yes, at Mus Dalifa. Under the bright sky, under the sky with moons and uh, moon and stars, so they spend the night at Mutsdalifa. Now next is Jamra. What is the Jamra. next one? Jamra. 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 Three yeah. walls. Three large walls. How many Jamra are there? Three. 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 Okay, three. What do Jamra represent? Shaitan. Shaitan, okay. And what do we have to do on Jamra? We have to throw stones, stones, diamonds. Yes, yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw stones. Okay. Yes. On each Jamra, we have to throw बकरीद यस वेरी गुड ईद उल अजहा बोलेंगे बेटा ओके यस तो यस सेक्रीफाइसिंग वॉट डू दे डू बेटा ईद उल अजहा सेक्रीफाइस यस ओके हु आर वी ऑनरिंग इस्माइल इब्राहिम अलैहिस्सलाम एक्सलेंट उनकी इब्राहिम अलैहिस्सलाम यस very good excellent now next after sacrificing the animal after that final next tawaf. is seven times final tawaf seven times what is final tawaf seven yes. times circling. circling the kaaba okay kaaba ke atraf how many times seven, seven times. times seven times mashallah very good so this completes our Hajj. Yes, Alhamdulillah. This completes the yes stages of Hajj. Okay. Now I have a question for you. Uh, is uh, Hajj one of the pillars of Islam, right? Yes. Yes. Last pillar. So Last is it compulsory yes. for all Muslims? Yes. It's really yes. At least once yes. in a lifetime we have to go. Yes. Once in a lifetime, हमारी ज़िंदगी में एक बार तो भी हज़ करना ज़रूरी है. Yes. But those who can't afford, who do, who don't have the money, uh, what uh, they can do then? They don't have the money to do Hajj. Then uh, is it Hajj compulsory for them also? No. Yeah. No, okay. So Hajj is compulsory. Who have, uh, who can afford to do that? Okay. Yes, those who have the money, who can uh, afford that, they can go to Mecca and perform the Hajj. Okay. So those uh, जिसके पास इस्तेमाल होती है, वो Hajj कर सकते हैं. Okay. उनके लिए compulsory है. Okay. Yes. Ma'am. Yes. Tell me what else? Ibrahim Alaihissalam. Ibrahim Alaihissalam. पैरों से रब करने के बाद ही तो सबसे था। यस बेटा, नो लेट्स नॉट गो टू द डिटेल्स Okay, well done, beta. Well tried. Excellent, Marshall. Okay.
ठीक है ठीक है सुबहानक व बी हम दिका व अशहद अल्लाह सुबहानक पढ़िए बेटे